this is Verdi Verwoord, their great lead guiding coach, uh, talking today with Jeanette Kola. And Jeanette Kola, I have known since what would we, we just discovered 2008, is what we discovered? Yes. Yeah, 10 years when Jeanette came to Austria on holiday and I was working as a guide for Dog Walk Trail. Um, and she came with her Tatra dog, a Polish, what kind of a Polish? Polish herding dog. Herding dog, a Polish shepherd dog, herding dog, um, to Austria to hike in the Austrian mountains. So that's how we met. Then we have an, then we didn't see each other or spoke to each other for 10 years, I guess. And um, <laughs> just follow, followed each other on Facebook. So meet Jeanette Kola. Hi. Yeah. So Jeanette, tell us a little bit about yourself, because people now know that you have you had a Tatra dog, but things have changed and you you are Dutch, but you moved. Tell us a little bit. I am Dutch. I as Gerdy uh, already told you, um, I went on holiday in Austria in the mountains. I did that for several years. And then I chose that. Uh, I didn't want to do those hikes just for holiday. I wanted to do this in all my free time after work and go. So and now you live in a little village in the middle of the Aust this, I was going to say the Austrian mountains, but the Swiss mountains then. Yeah, um, almost in the middle of nowhere. But. Yeah. So you moved, as I did, uh, from the Netherlands to the mountains because you wanted to live in the mountains and be able to go yeah. hiking. Yeah. When you look back on your life, what was your first connection to nature? Ooh, nature. Mm -hmm. I think that was my tattoo dog, Bo. Uh -huh. I uh, split, up, split up with my ex mm -hmm. for um, 12 years. Yeah. Then I decided I wanted to go more and more go hiking, walking mm -hmm. in Holland, in, in the woods. And, yeah. and then I noticed that even in Holland, there are so, mo so much beautiful places. Mm -hmm. You just have to look, yeah. open your eyes and see it. Mm -hmm. and I could walk there for hours with seeing no one. Mm -hmm. But then I went to Austria in the mountains and it was just a bit more it. Yeah. So what about the mountains is it that brought you back to them every time and, and eventually had you moved there? Um, yeah. What was it? I think everything. Um, the view. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. So impressive. Yeah. Um, you can walk for hours, see no one, the silence. Mm -hmm. And um, it clears the head. It clear. Oh, it clears the head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. what I still have when I'm in a lot of stress. Then I just need to go mm -hmm. hiking. Yeah. Yeah. When it's really stressful, I prefer to go alone. Mm -hmm. I walk alone with the dogs. And yeah. No one. So you still hike with dogs because I know Bo is no longer alive. Yeah, yes, yes. Now I have two other dogs, and and those are really chosen with hiking um, uh, as a as a goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To know they can really go on all day, and it doesn't matter how long, how high, how far. Yeah. They just go. Yeah. And like, it. and then afterwards you have. A dog sleeping and dreaming in a sofa, and yeah, and, yeah. Then, then, it's really, then you had a good day. Mm. So I, I, I stalked you a little bit on Facebook, of course, and I noticed that you hike a lot. You hike even more than I do, I think, from the photographs. You, you, it looks like you're out almost every, at least once every week. That's your, that, that, that is my goal. Yeah. So, um. I think you said you do you prefer to do day hikes, right? Yeah. Because what day hikes is it that you like? 
um, what you mean from uh, distance or I do love to go to um, the ports. But yeah, you I love to go to what? To um, the mountain top. Yeah. Okay. Summit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Summit. Yes. I love to um, do a, yeah uh, the, the the summit mm -hmm. one or more. Yeah. Or um, yeah, it just most of the time ten bis. 15 kilometers, yeah. mm, um, 500 uh, height oh. meters oh. minimum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Minimum. And yeah, most of them six, uh, uh, six to eight hours. Mm -hmm. So you don't go, uh, you don't do trekking tours like when, when you sleep on in cabins or somewhere in the mountains? Mm, not yet. We did a did one uh, this summer, mm -hmm. but it's not that easy with dogs oh, to find a place where you can sleep over. Yeah, of course. I didn't think of that, but yes, that's true. It's uh, that's harder. I haven't done it till now because it wasn't necessary. Yeah, you know, I have, I have all those hikes in the backyard. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But there are so many so much hikes with this, there's, that are still on the list mm -hmm. that don't need to keep over. Yeah, that's true. So when you look back on all your hiking experience, because you've hiked a lot since, um, uh, what was the scariest thing you've ever experienced on a hike? Actually, that is what I just did this summer. Mm -hmm. I have absolutely no right for for height or this or something yeah i do almost everything mm -hmm. with my dogs things that i when i look back like, okay maybe that wasn't the best idea <laughs> but hey we did it yeah we yeah. Mm -hmm. but the areas was without the dogs as far as um when we went to the britannia hütte yeah in, in welsh mm -hmm. and when we went back to saasvee yeah. The last part is, was a gletsjer, mm -hmm. um, and there was there were no, just a few meters mm -hmm. that was so small. The the feet couldn't go uh, beside another, uh, okay. one another. Yeah. Just one four, one back. Yeah, you had to just put your feet really in front of each other instead of next to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, there was nothing to hold on. And on, on both sides, there was just, okay, um, death. <laughs> Jeanette, you're kidding me, right? You're telling me that you went over a, a really narrow ledge where you ha with the dogs? No, thank oh, God, no. But still. Without the dogs. But still, it was, my heart was really beating. That was the first time that I thought, okay, this is not funny. No. This is not funny anymore. Well, on the knees wasn't possible. No, because your your knees couldn't were not couldn't. Um, it wasn't wide enough. Like, yeah. No. So were you roped in, or did you just have to go? I had to go. Otherwise, the the um, um, the uh, the other option was a thousand uh, thousand three hundred meters walk down. Oh. And I didn't have the time because I had a night shift. Wow. And after this part, it was just, it was only 10 minutes to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The part. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we had no choice. We well, had, yeah, we well, coming too late for your shift probably wasn't an option, but. Blah. I did the walk down two weeks before that. Mm -hmm. because then I did the same walk with the dogs and I couldn't stay overnight Yeah, and I missed the cable car so I had to walk down okay wow how far you were on this ledge how far down on the left and the right side did it go how many meters down mm -hmm. on the, you were on this narrow ledge where you had to put one foot in front of the other how far down did it go on either side 
when you look down. Right, is I just. Uh, maybe hundred. The other really? other side. Really? I can send you a picture after. I, I believe you, but I'm just like really. I would have walked down those thousand three hundred feet of Piccadilly. I probably have not. It was take a deep breath. Once, just take a step. Breathe out. Breathe in. Take a step. Yeah. Breathe out. Breathe in. Take a step. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, was uh, I as they say, I salute you. I take my hat off for you. Wow. Yeah. You know, we saw all, we also saw people with children in so uh, on the back. Mm. They went into it, and we thought they are crazy. Wow. When that was my husband, I would have killed him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You were no. Okay. Let's move on to your best experience hiking. Oh, those are a lot because I have a few favorite hikes mm -hmm. and I love to do them. I have a lot of people in my area who don't want to do the same hike again. Mm -hmm. They just want another one, another one. And yeah. But I can enjoy, enjoy I just the same again and again mm -hmm. just what? because yeah. just because of the trail, the, the view, mm. everything. Yeah. And one of the best uh, is called Stephanie Flu. Well, you have to spell that for me. Or you have to send me an email or, or, or a Facebook message and spell that for me so I can put it in the show notes. Yeah, I can. And then I can send you some pictures of it as well. Yes, please. And send, if you have a picture of the, uh, the narrow ledge where you were on this ice thing on the glacier, yeah, we have to put that in there as well. Because um, this one, the Stephanie Clue had also a small, a narrow part in it, but that's just one side. Okay. And the other side, uh, you have a, a rope. Okay. Yeah, that would be okay. Yeah. Then it's okay. But on both sides, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can do it. But uh, I don't think I could do it when it's one foot in front of the other. I, c I could probably do it when it was about, you know... A little bit wider than two feet next to each other and then I would almost have to close my eyes to do it. I think when you're there and when you're with other people you would do it. They would talk you through, through it. I have friends who have also also problems with that mm -hmm. but they uh, could uh, bring her over. Okay. It's really yeah. just so short. It's, it's just a few meters. Yeah, but you know, yeah, I I know it is just a few meters, and I've walked on narrow ledges where I'm like, okay, I have, you know, I don't want to hike three hours extra just to. But on the other hand, I've also stood at places where I was like, no, no, nope, no, nope, I'm not doing this. So, so in um, I think you mm -hmm. go, but Steph, believe me, that was that is something. It's not that far, uh -huh. but beautiful pl places in it, and mm -hmm. you have to climb a bit, and yes, yeah, it's just it uh, has yeah. everything that you want. It has, mm -hmm. it has everything in it. Yeah, and like for nice. the dogs, for my dog, dog, mm -hmm. you can um, jump a bit, have long legs. Yeah, they who can walk on their own. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah. That sounds really It's just nice. beautiful. Yeah. It is. It is really one of my favorites. But also not for every day. And But sometimes. Yeah. It's on the list for this, this month again. Great. Because I was on this, uh, this year I, I was uh, operated. So mm -hmm. I had surgery for my ankle. Okay. And now I can walk everything again. That's cool. So. That's great. Yeah. Really good. It, so I've got a few more works. questions just okay. to uh, round off. Um, when you look at your, so people that hike often have a backpack that has certain gear in it always. What is something that you always bring with you on your hike, no matter the kind of weather or no matter the kind of hiking that you do? 
Water. Water. Do you use water. a bottle or a water bladder? What do you use? Uh, both. Both. I have a bladder for myself and I always have bottles for the dogs. Okay. They yeah. drink from the bottles. Mm -hmm. can, can you drink, uh, so over here when I know there's no kettle above me, I, I'll drink the water from the, uh, from the brooks or from the waterfalls, whatever I'm coming across. Do you do that in Switzerland as well or is that not a good yeah. idea? I will. I will. Yeah. I, I refill also with them. Yeah. Do you filter it? I don't filter it. I just drink it. No, no. Just, just, just drink, drink it. it. Yeah. Um, where you live in Switzerland, uh, not far from Saspe, I think you said, uh, and not far mm, from yeah. Yeah. Actually, I do. Oh. Uh, the summer was in Saspe with with my father. Oh, okay. So I'm, you don't live far from Luzern then, or relatively close by. So relatively. what is one hike that you would recommend for people to do if they came to your area? It's always the question, so I shall I tell them or shall I not? Yeah. Because it's too beautiful and, and peaceful and so less people that mm -hmm. walk there. Yeah. But um, one that that's uh, walked a lot, but uh, a lot of people come, is mm -hmm. called Fürstein. Yeah. I, I will send you that as well. Yes, please. Then Fürstein is uh, a real hike. Mm -hmm. with, uh, the mountain top, so mid, mid the summit. Mm -hmm. But doable. Doable for everyone um, who can, who has a bit experience with, with hiking mm -hmm. yeah it's not that long it has a beautiful view you can actually see how you have to walk okay so no, no danger of losing the way no good no you can you can't you just can't and if you um on you're on your way and you think maybe that's just too far or the too high yeah then every step of the way is is nice and beautiful okay great so if you could send me uh, the name or the link to it now I'll, I'll put that in the show notes as well that would be great thank you yeah um three more questions what is one thing you'd recommend to people who are first starting out hiking who've never hiked before but want to try it out for uh gear or just, just from your experience, maybe it may be gear, or it may be something they should do or not do. Something they should. Um, where they should prepare, preparing. Okay. Preparing is really um, take a look at the hike you wanna you wanna go. Where mm -hmm. does it go? How is how is um, the path? Yeah. What what will I see? Uh, when I'm when I'm hiking, mm -hmm. uh, what are the difficult difficult parts? Yeah, I always look. Um, is it really doable with dogs? Mm -hmm. Do I have ladders or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What do I come across? Mm -hmm. And then of course you have to have uh, good shoes. Yeah, on, and uh, good clothes. Yeah, and That's jeans. Cool. It's not. Not preferable. Yeah. So preparation is, is really important, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. That's correct. So what is your favorite book about hiking? My? Favorite book or uh, or movie, for that matter, about hiking? If my favorite book is, is uh, a book with um, uh, uh, hikes. With like hikes. A, a guide. Mm. Is it, you mean like okay. a guide where you can um, just look up wh which hikes you can do and um, and what I started, I started hiking with a rotor, rotor books. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are, um, I, know them. I know them. Yeah, those are hiking guides. Yeah. So final we question. To, uh, yeah. What's your favorite hiking or uh, nature quote? Uh, the mountains are calling, so me and my dogs must go. Uh -huh. It's a variation on the John Muir quote. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love it. You, you see it a lot and uh, you hear it a lot and I think, yeah, that's just it. Yeah. What Thank is? you. <laughs> Thank you for doing this, Jeanette, um, for coming on this, uh, this blogcast, video, interview, and um, telling us about your experiences hiking. I really appreciate you doing that. So to everybody out there who has watched this, as always, go there greatly and be safe out there.